sitting on her front porch, just an old friend and me. Drink a little coffee, read all the local news, talk a little gossip every now and then. Smell that ham cooking in the kitchen, a brand new sunrise in the sky. Sitting on her front porch, minding all your business. What a way to make the day go by. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, happy um, hump day to you, Wednesday, the 10th day of April already. Good morning. My name's Kenny Dean, and welcome to the front porch. Before we get into anything, I, I, I'd like to just tell you, I, I, I'm just really proud right now. I got, got everything all lined up right here and ready to, to discuss some things with you. But you know what? It's going to be a mess. If I get anything organized, it's going to be a mess. I see you out there. I see you out there, Andy Tucker. You, you're a dead blame mess, too. Stephen Yerke. Hey, good morning to you, Reverend Gerald Carnes. Hey, good morning to you. Hey, I just, I, I, I was thinking about y'all uh, this morning at uh, uh, Duncan Memorial. It's Wednesday. Do y'all have a service on Wednesday night, Reverend? Uh, we do at 6 o'clock. Uh, <clears throat> we meet for a Bible study. It usually lasts about uh, about 50 minutes to an hour. <clears throat> and then we have the choir practice at 7 o'clock if you want to come sing. <laughs> You're trying to build that up out there, uh, Reverend. I, don't I am, I am. <clears throat> I could tear that down in, a, in, in one note. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, I bet you're better. <laughs> hey, let me. I, I know y'all are feeding the first responders th uh, this coming Sunday. That's at eleven o'clock, right? Or the service is at eleven, right? The service is at eleven, and then the lunch <clears throat> will be uh, after the service. So, <clears throat> we'll uh, have a lot of folks there, <clears throat> and uh, anyone who works in that field, a first responder, or even those working in the emergency room, uh, any, any of those kind of folks that come in a time of crisis, we want you to come and be honored. Well, I think it's mighty uh, kind of y'all to do that again. And it's been mighty kind for you to be with us for the last couple of days. And, it's it, again, it's hump day, and we, we're going to probably need some help getting over that old hump early this morning. So we'll just turn it over to you for the thought of the day right now. How about that? All right. I appreciate it. <clears throat> and uh, also like to remind everybody, uh, I enjoy certainly being a pastor at Duncan Memorial. Uh, I'm also the pastor out at Sunny Level Methodist Church uh, out on Highway 63 North, right on the edge of town. We meet every Sunday morning at 930. We'd love to have you join us. Uh, the, that congregation has been bearing uh, faithful witness to Jesus Christ for 172 years. Wow, I didn't know that. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, and it's... Uh, it's great to be a part of that group. Uh, I'm going to be talking about faithfulness today, uh, and uh, I think it's fitting to recognize uh, the fact that Sunday Level's been there for 172 years. <clears throat> and there's one gentleman there uh, uh, named Larry. Uh, he actually was a charter member of that church, and he's still there after all these years. But uh, <clears throat> he's been faithful for a long time. But... Uh, I would like to talk about, again, the fruits of the Spirit that we read about in Galatians chapter 5, where Paul tells us the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Uh, goodness being the quality of being morally good or virtuous and uh, we know that it is the Holy Spirit living within us that gives us the will. Uh, the desire and the ability uh, to live uh, morally good and virtuous, to uh, to overcome the evil and the temptations, and to and to live in a holy and godly way. We're also <clears throat> told that uh, once the Holy Spirit takes up residence, uh, He produces faithfulness within us. Uh, faithfulness is that steadfast loyalty that isn't easily swayed. 
And, of course, we know that God is perfectly faithful. First uh, Corinthians 1, 9 says God is faithful, and by him you were called to the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Uh, his faithful, we're told, and his mercies are made new uh, every morning. And we know that uh, there is no wavering in him. <clears throat> every promise he made comes to pass. Every word he speaks is truth and life. God is perfectly faithful uh, to us. But we are also called to be faithful. Uh, in Proverbs chapter 3, verses 3 and 4, we are told, Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. And, of course, uh, we need to be faithful to God. And that means to trust in him and love him through all circumstances. Uh, it means following his command, uh, even when we would rather choose a different path. But uh, we're also called to be faithful to one another, uh, to love one another even in difficult times, to care for one another even though they may not be kind to us. But uh, we're wanting to be like Jesus, and so God certainly is faithful. We want to be faithful uh, to what he has called us to do, faithful to the people he has placed in our lives, uh, and to really just to, uh, to follow the example of Christ in that regard. So I pray this morning, Father, you help us uh, to live uh, in godly godliness and holiness, that we be faithful in our service to you and faithful in our care for one another. Amen. 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 Uh, Reverend Gerald Carnes, a uh, great thought for the day, great way to get our day started. Uh, I know it's a busy day for you. Thank you for taking your time to be with us. And tomorrow, tomorrow, if you can pull a double duty with us at 6 and 820, we would certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Appreciate the opportunity. Yes, sir. Be safe out there today. <clears throat> Have a good day. Yes, sir. In fact, I want to tell all, uh, all of you be safe out there today. We've we got, we got some storms uh, Moving in, I know South Alabama, it's really looking rough for South Alabama. I know they've already uh, delayed or closing schools down that way. So I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be looking like here, but we'll uh, talk about that in just a, just a minute. Uh, today, our guest, starting at 6.30 from Russell Accordia over, not Russell Accordia, Rockford Accordia over in Rockford, Alabama. Look forward to those folks being on. Just tell you what they're all about in downtown Rockford. Russell Medical sending a, a, a group out here, and I'll thank my buddy Mabry Cook for lining all that up as we spotlight more and more folks at Russell Medical. And then to wrap it up today, Senator Tuberville will be calling in uh, from Washington. So I look forward to seeing what he has to say. I know his uh, the, the person that hooks us up with that he sent me a list of questions. I looked at them. I don't have a clue what 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 they what they are, and I may ask him uh, those questions, <laughs> and I may not. Uh, we're starting out at 59 degrees, a little foggy in certain uh, areas uh, this morning. 75 for a high today. Now the rain looks like it's going to uh, come in here about four o'clock this afternoon, but from about four o'clock to six a.m., it's going to be raining it's going to be windy in fact it's going to be windy all the way through about five o'clock tomorrow afternoon i'm talking about some strong winds and these could be some strong thunderstorms so just uh, be real uh, weather conscious today tonight a uh, low of 61 thunderstorms they're gonna, they're gonna be here all night long now uh, then going into the weekend tomorrow the rain moves out tomorrow uh, and then a high of 64, low of 47, Friday. Oh, my goodness, look at that, 71 and 46 and sunny Friday. Saturday for the Bradley uh, auction, they are all ready to be good and dried out by then. 78 and 52 and sunny, 82 and uh, 55 on Sunday. And then starting out Monday with a really a nice start to the week, 82 and uh, 58 for a low. So there's your five day forecast. Not looking real good today. Let me tell you what. I went by yesterday, saw uh, the Yerky family, talked to Steve, saw Theresa, Dave Young out there, and old Dave uh, doing well. And, but Steve, it's about 11 o'clock. 
and 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 they, it gets talking about a connect a dog and pimento cheese on it, some some chili. They were getting up an order to go to Watch Curve Market, but they got some good things, some, some new things that's going to be happening. I, I'm tell you more about them as as a year and the year a uh, years come on at Ellic City Marine Cherokee Road. Salvation Army. They're located at 6800 US 280. Let's just talk furniture right now. You've got, let's say, a refrigerator. You've got a stove. You've got a dishwasher. You've got that works. You've got furniture like a couch and a chair that needs moving. You just want to donate it and get your receipt. Well, Salvation Army, they can come pick it up for you. Yeah, uh, at no charge. Call them today at 256-215-3730. In today's challenging world, our children need every advantage found in their education and spiritual formation. If you're looking for a school for your child or your grandchild where they will receive a great education, be in a small class, a safe place, a school where they're prayed for and with, a school where the Bible is integrated into the lessons, a school where they are encouraged and challenged not only in scholastics but also the Christian life, Veritas Lake Martin Christian School may be the place for you. Registration for the next school year has already begun with limited spaces. Call us at 256-537-5004. I'm Jimmy Gorey with Gorey's Furniture. We would like to invite you to come shop our huge selection of furniture. But if you don't have time, we have over 2,000 items you can have shipped directly to your home. Go to Gorey'sFurniture.com, look for 40 hour quick ship. Shop, click, ship, just that easy. You can shop us here or you can shop us online, only at Gorey's Furniture. Your express way to save me. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for nursing excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Momentum Marine, Lake Martin's all-new marine dealership, is ready to kick off the boating season with the first annual full pool party. The event will be held Saturday, April 20th, 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. Come meet the team and enjoy live music, craft beer, and pizza. We'll have drawings for tickets to see Kenny Chesney, Zach Brown, and Travis Tripp. While you're here, take a look at our extensive inventory of world-class boats, including Crest, Manitou, Centurion, Roballo, and Monterey. Come join the fun Saturday, April 20th at Momentum Marine, Lake Martin, located at Blue Creek Bridge, Dadeville. Lake Martin's new standard for sales and service. We look forward to meeting you. Serving East Central Alabama since 2005, we are Coosa Valley Respiratory and Home Medical of Sylacauga. Coosa Valley Respiratory has medical equipment and supplies, including oxygen to home ventilation services. We carry a full line of bracing, power chairs, scooters, and more. And when you trust Coosa Valley Respiratory, you are dealing with local people that care about your well-being. Providing quality home care for our community, Coosa Valley Respiratory and Home Medical, 201 West Fort Williams, Sylacauga. Give us a call at 256-245-1411. Henderson Towing, Alexander City, 24-hour towing, jump starts, door unlocks, local and long-distance towing, heavy-duty towing. So let's get old Big House to the rescue today. Here's that number. Now keep it handy. Henderson Towing, 256-392-4554, 256-392-4554. Henderson Towing, 24-hour towing, 256-392-4554. The Alex City Parks and Rec Department serves the residents of Alexander City with quality facilities and programs designed to positively affect the lives of the citizens. From youth sports programs to adult activities and our senior center, the Alex City Parks and Rec offers services for all ages. The Cooper Rec Center, Lake Winds Golf Course, and the Senior Activity Center are just some of the great features the Alex City Parks and Rec Department provides for the people of Alex City. For more information on any of our programs, call 256-329-6736.
And in sports last night, Braves win 65. Had to hold on to win over the Mets. They were up 6 nothing. Here they come, battling back, scratching and clawing. Uh, but uh, they Braves won. They'll play them again tonight, about 620. Uh, uh, Josh Williams, he's been out here on the show for, for many, many uh, years. And this guy just excels and excels and excels. After eight years as our dedicated agri-science teacher, I'm talking about Benjamin Russell, and FFA advisor, Mr. Josh Williams is stepping into the role of coordinator of career techno technical education. His passion, I'm reading all this, his passion for education and commitment to our students, Benjamin Russell students, uh, make him the, makes him the perfect fit for this position. Uh, and he'll be out here to talk. I talked to him yesterday. He'll be out here next week to talk about what exactly his role will be. But I guarantee you it's going to be a positive role. So congratulations to our friend and our buddy and a lot of those uh, young folks' mentors, Mr. Josh Williams. Hey, there's a lot going on down uh, uh, Dadeville this week. Uh, the event's coming up for this for the victims of April 15th uh, tragedy. Uh the lantern release will be April the 12th. At, uh, that would be Friday, uh, 8.30 uh, at the site of the tragedy, in, at, which is downtown Dable, uh, uh in memory of Kiki Smith. Kiki Smith Scholarship Gala, April the 13th, which would be Saturday at 5 o'clock at Keck. Uh, and then the Memorial Garden Dedication Ceremony uh, of the Healing Zone will be April the 14th at 3 o'clock at Keebler a park and the memorial service will be uh, April the 15th uh, at, at the uh, at 6:30. Uh, so that, that's the lineup for this week. If anything changes with that, we'll certainly let you know. The locals, farmers and artisans, we had those folks out here a while back. They got all kind of things going on, and theirs is on Friday down there on Clyde Road from two to seven. Weather's going to be good, uh, so put that on your things, dude. Tomorrow night, it's, it's a bingo at Elks Lodge, 7 o'clock. And then on Saturday, Bradley Auction, the second annual spring equipment auction, uh, will start at 8.30. Uh, if you need to get down there earlier, like today or tomorrow, yesterday was a closing on uh, getting your, your things in there. If you want to go start shopping, so, what, what, what am I going to give for that? Well, is it, and again, I'll say this every time I talk about it. It's very, very entertaining. Uh, so if you want something to do on uh, Saturday morning, put that thing you know, on your things too. Uh, down in Equality on Highway 9 Friday night, my old buddy Henry Foy uh, has a wine tasting uh, emporium, uh, an emporium wine from 5 to 7. He's fixing to come up on 20 years of being in business in downtown Alexander City. Salute. Jewelry and accessory sale going on uh, uh, this week starting tomorrow at Russell Medical. Tomorrow at the, uh, uh, this is at the Hardy Room, which is the uh, community room at Russell Medical from 7 to 5. Uh, it's 7 to 3 on Friday at the Hardy Room. $5 jewelry sale. Second annual, or second Saturday cleanup. Uh, day will start at the Strand Park at 8.30 Saturday morning to so show up bright and early to go pick up some trash. Uh, pause for a cause pet donation drive. That's going through uh, this Friday, benefiting Lake Martin Animal Shelter, uh, collecting food and monetary donations for the local animal shelter. Just like uh, uh, yesterday when Phil Blassingame was out here with Riverbank, they saw a need for, the, uh, for feed, so they're Doing a lot of collecting at Riverbank for Paul's for a cause. Bridgeways over in Rockford, over in Coos County, family cookout at the playground this coming Saturday from 4 to 7. Oh, a lot going on. Over still over in Coos County, the first annual car and bike show at Central High School of Coosa County. That's going on. Uh, starts at 8 o'clock, ends at 4 uh, let's see, that's going to be, um, uh, let's see, I'm trying to see where that is. Uh, doggone. So, oh, here we go. No, I'm sorry. 97 Coosa County Road, Rockford, Alabama. Uh, so that's uh, just another happening over in Coosa County. Trooper J.R. Sutherland, the, uh, the third Memorial Scholarship Fun Ride. Uh, will be April the 13th, also this coming Saturday. A lot going on this Saturday. Weather's going to be good. Uh, the ride begins at 11, 
Elmore County High School. Uh, so there's something else that you can do. Let's go over to Chambers County. 28th Annual Lafayette Day. 28th Annual uh, 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 golly, Lafayette Day. They just closed down downtown Lake, uh, Lafayette. Musical Entertainment, Barbecue, they got a car show. Downtown on the square, uh, crafts, booth, fun, fun. It's just going to be a lot of fun. And, of course, they, the, the, the benefit, the Valley Haven School. Uh, so, you know, Craig Brown's been coming out here for years to talk about that. So there's just something else to do on Saturday. Even with our uh, the East Alabama <laughs> Horsemen's Association, they got their 2024 show schedule. Now, they're going to be over uh, in Lafayette, matter of fact, they're going to be over in Fayette, uh, Lafayette this coming Saturday also. Uh, golly, I'm glad the weather's going to be good Saturday. On Sunday, keep the park dedication. I mentioned this a while ago, but the more Memorial Garden uh, dedication will be at 3 o'clock. Limited seating, so bring a lawn chair. Well, that's going to be Saturday afternoon. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Sunday uh, afternoon. Also, uh, Rodeo Bingo, Rodeo Bingo at Mellow Valley this coming uh, Saturday night at uh, uh, wear your Western Rodeo outfit and get your name in the drawing for a cash prize and play some bingo and have some good, have a good time. Over in Dadeville, golly, uh, they open jam session uh, at the, uh, uh, from 10 o'clock. This is Saturday morning, so just come on down, jam a little bit, pick, pick and grin a little bit, and just have a good time in downtown uh, Dable. Uh, the Griffith Family Homecoming, April 12th and 13th at 6 o'clock. This will be in B.B. Comer High School Auditorium uh, in Sylacauga, Alabama. Good morning to you, Jimmy. Jimmy Dale Corn, I don't care. Jimmy Dale Corn, I don't care. Jimmy Dale Corn, I don't care. Cause they love to run the fingers through my hair. Uh, let's see what it, let me tell you what you better, you better start watching out for. Bees. Now we were talking about bees yesterday. And if you find a, if you, if you find a clump of them, uh, get in touch with the uh, Tallapoosa River beekeepers. But uh, yellow jackets and red wasp and those kind of things, it, you don't want to collect those. And you, it, and you don't want them anywhere on you because they just absolutely tear you up. Uh, so make sure you, you keep an eye keep an eye on those rascals. Uh, Tallapoosa County 4-H uh, County Contest going on this coming Saturday, too, from 8 until 12. Uh, this will be um, over in uh, Dable. Golly, they've got the fourth graders. We've got the fifth graders, sixth graders. Uh, this will be at the Dable Elementary School. Uh, so this is a lot of exhi exhibits, anywhere from a bake-off to uh, a, a speaking. Uh, what would you build? Uh, uh, it's just, it's, it's amazing. So they start working with these young folks real, real early, uh, and, it, and it pays off. Adam Wade, good morning to you this morning. Thank you for watching. Stop by and talk to, talk to old Jesse Henderson tonight at Henderson Glass and Towing the other day. And, 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 and I, we were talking about Vivian Autry. Vivian does business with them, uh, glass on the glass end. Vivian does business local, as we all should. Anytime she has, I'm just talking about just Vivian Autry. Anytime she has anything to do, if she can do it with anybody local, that's what it, that's what she's going to do. She's going to use local. We had uh, our friend Ellen Gregg out here. Good morning to you, for you Ellen. Uh, talking about uh, right around the corner Memorial Day weekend, it's going to start. I can't wait to start going uptown on Saturday morning, downtown on Calhoun Street, Calhoun Street, for the farmer's market. We've got a lot going on. If you got something you want to uh, get to us, get in the, get in the pile. Uh, Kenny Dean, AC at gmail.com. We'll be right back. Sunsets never end and sunrises 
just begin. I'm talking about Lake Martin, Tallapoosa County tourism. Let me, let me tell you something. If you want to be a part of Lake Martin, Tallapoosa County tourism, get in touch with Sandra Fuller. Just go to with their web page and say, hey, I got an idea for you. She's always uh, open for ideas, two ideas. And what's your idea about making Lake Martin, Tallapoosa County tourism even better? You got one? Go to their web page today. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and social security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Central Alabama. This is our home. It's where we work, where we play, where we raise our families and grow old. And in the unfortunate event we become sick with cancer, thanks to UAB Medicine Russell Medical Cancer Center, this is where we heal also. We have invested in new technologies and expertise so that now we're able to treat all sorts of cancers and you never have to leave Tallapoosa County. UAB Medicine Russell Medical Cancer Center. Compassionate, convenient, collaborative cancer care right here at home. Farmers and Merchants Bank of Dadeville is building a foundation of strength and trust in the entire Lake Martin community. With our modern branch in Dadeville and caring attentive staff, we've established Farmers and Merchants Bank as a reliable friend to your banking needs. Whether it's just a savings or checking account or any commercial auto or real estate loan, Farmers has local decision making to build a relationship with you and your needs. Farmers and Merchants Community Bank. Strength. Service. Community. It's that time of the year again for the second annual Bradley Equipment Auction. April the 13th starts at 8.30. Now you can go on down there anytime beforehand and start checking out the trailers, the tractors, the trucks, all the equipment that's going to be on site. Live on site bidding will be going on the day of. Live internet bidding now. Get in touch with them today at 256-786-2763. You don't have to ask who, what, or why. Who's Diner is the go-to place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Conveniently located at the corner of Highway 22 and 280 in Alex City, Who's Diner offers the best meals and the best deals in town. Try our fresh made-from-scratch pancakes, chicken salad, Philly cheesesteak, or the Who Burger. It doesn't get any better than who? Who's Diner, of course, on the corner of Highway 22 and 280. Who's Hungry? Trust Dixie Overhead Door to restore your garage door with a comprehensive tune-up. For a limited time, it's free for Dixie Cares Plan members and only $49.99 for others. Avoid a real-life nightmare and take care of the most important door in your home. Regular maintenance can reduce noises and potential breakdowns, extend the life of your opener, door, tracks, and springs, and quickly spruce up the space. Especially important if it's turned into your new man cave. Red Flag Pest Control is Central Alabama's best in pest control with hometown service in Lake Martin and now the greater Montgomery area. When you see pests, throw down the red flag. Termites, bed bugs, carpenter bees, mosquitoes, or general pests. Red Flag gets the job done at the right price for your home or business. At Lake Martin, call 888-943-0353 or in Montgomery, 334-265-1831. Red Flag, the best in pest control in Central Alabama. Come 
Okay, Delta Security is looking for some uh, some guards right now. When I say guards, I'm talking about uh, you got a location over in Dadeville. Uh, you can get in touch with Delta Security. They are always they're always looking for folks just like you. Uh, and I've got I've got I got it in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. I got I got Ryan. Just hold on. I had it. I told you I had it all organized. Well, they're looking for guards over in Dadeville at the industrial park. Uh, you got all kind of shifts uh, Monday through Sunday. Um, uniforms are furnished. Background checks, of course, are required. Must have your own transportation. Uh, call this number. If you don't get it, if you're interested, 256 207 0171. You just want a real easy job. Here it is Delta Security. My, my apologies. I, had it, I told you I had it organized, and yet. I didn't, but uh, our guests are our, our guests. I hope they're okay this morning from uh, Cordy over in uh, Rockford to have uh, not showed up. So again, I hope they're okay. So what we're gonna do right now? We go. Uh, uh, Ryan has 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 gone off into the archive where we, we we're pulling some music out. So for your listening entertainment, we're gonna go to uh, um, Ireland right now. Turn it over to Ryan. Shiny Penny, boy's rocking and rolling. He he stays busy all the time. We've got another young lady we're going to show you. But speaking of music, talking about music, on this date in 1970, say it ain't so, Sir Paul. Paul McCartney issued a press release announcing that the Beatles, all right, boys and girls, don't start crying, had broken up. He said, I have no future plans to record to or appear with the Beatles again. 
McCartney said, you know, they, they had a pretty good run. And I guess it was a uh, 64, I believe. They had the top five songs in America. One, two, three, four, five. Unbelievable. They still, of course, they got their own uh, on XM radio. They got their own Beatles uh, uh, station, and they play a lot of Beatle music. So if you're a Beatle fan, uh, you still got it going on today. Again, our uh, our guest, uh, Accordia in Rockford, uh, hope again, hope they're okay. That's the main thing. But so what we're doing right now is having to fill in with some good music. And I want to thank our buddy Ryan Fuller for going right to the spot, you know, right where to go to start pulling uh, music. So this young lady here uh, was uh, just right here on the front porch a, a while back. So we'll turn it over again to producer Ryan Fuller. Working on hang over. Hey, Pat Avery, Jim Avery, good morning to y'all. Hope y'all are doing well. Randall Peters, I don't even know if you're up yet, but wherever you are, I hope old Ma enjoyed her strawberry shake yesterday. You just killed me calling your mama old, old Ma. Hey, we're going to take us a commercial break. We appreciate you being with us today. We'll be right back.
You know, talking about shopping local, that's what Lake Martin David Area Chamber of Commerce is all about. In fact, I'm going to, this is a quote from uh, their community support. We ask you to think about your community when shopping for holidays and special occasions or just any day. Local shops are owned by our family, our friends, and our neighbors. When they succeed, we succeed. Bottom line, Lake Martin Davel Area Chamber of Commerce, thank you. King Honda Car World kicks off 2024 with an unbeatable selection of new Hondas, available now for immediate delivery. Experience great products, an incredible selection, and fantastic prices on all of our new Honda inventory in stock. Our goal this month is to make it a month to remember by offering year-end deals at the start of the year. That way you get the best savings on any Honda in stock. Need to trade in your car? We're offering top dollar for quality trades, making your deal even better. Plus, this month only, enjoy free leather upgrades on all Honda Accord EX models. And we've got plenty in stock. Thank you for making 2023 our best year ever, and we're excited for an even better 2024. Thank you all for a great 2023. I welcome the opportunity to meet you in person at our Honda store, where I know our staff will take great care of you. We hope to see you soon. Visit our new facility at 2332 U.S. Highway 280 and start enjoying your new 2024 Honda this year. The Rockford Pharmacy is now open Monday through Friday from 9 until 5. They're located across from Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Go by and meet Leanne Armstrong and the friendly staff or give them a call at 256-377-9002. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination. The burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. As your State Farm team, we will be there for you with the financial strength to deliver on our promises. Service, that's a sure thing. You can think of us as your good neighbors who help protect what's important to you. We're here when you need us the most. You can call us 24-7 to get answers to your questions, file a claim, or see if we can find you more ways to save. We have many coverages and many discounts. We can help protect more areas of your life and find every discount you qualify for along the way. Please call us or visit 2048 Cherokee Road for coverage you can count on. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union, is looking for the next hometown hero. Hometown heroes could be first responders, public service workers, community leaders, pastors, community volunteers, or anyone who is making a difference in your hometown. Submit your nominations now online at myhscu.com. And if your nominee is selected, they will get a $100 Visa cash card and a certificate of appreciation from Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union. Federally insured by the NCUA. The Rockford Pharmacy is now open Monday through Friday from 9 until 5. They're located across from Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Go by and meet Leanne Armstrong and the friendly staff or give them a call at 256-377-9002. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Guaranteed lowest price. Buy it at Bice. Bice Motors. Lake Martin Garden Shop. Well, we had Mr. Phil, a blasting game out here yesterday, talking about Miss Kay and all the crew 
uh, working at Lake Martin Garden Shop, Highway 63 South. But, you know, we talked about you could take your pots uh, to them and they'll arrange and put pretty flowers in them. But, you know, they go to your home and they, they'll do that. That way you don't even have to bring it in. They, they, they got ideas for you. They'll, they, they, they do a lot of landscaping. They do more than just you, us, going to Lake Martin Garden Shop. They open from 9 to 4, Monday through Saturday, even 1 to 4 on Sunday afternoon. You're looking for some pretty stuff for the house. You just found it, Lake Martin Garden Shop. Well, come back in here and join us again uh, to our folks with Accordia over in Rockford. Again, we hope you're you're fine, but we've got a few things to do some filler with, and our buddy Ryan Fuller is uh, taking care of all that, which I deeply, deeply appreciate. So we will turn it over to him right now. I want to say good morning to the Dayville Experience. Turn it over, Ryan. Wearing that dress, the one that took your breath away from the night that we met. Watching that Bob at bay. Oh, you made me smile, you made me blush. I'm sure the world can see, baby. Your love looks good on me. When you saw Kiss my cheek when you hold my hand so tenderly. When you wrap your gentle arms around me, and as the moonlight falls like my dress down the hall, so do I for you, baby. Ooh, your love looks good on me. good on me good on me good on me good on me come on back <laughs> Join I just got me a little sip of coffee uh, while in, enjoying some good music. Corey Lane was with us a while back, and he's got quite the story to tell, but he's got quite the song to sing. So we'll turn it over to Corey Lane right now.
tell me everything's all right there's so many things i want to tell you but the words won't come out right don't go stay with me tonight that look that look in your eyes drives me wild girl you got me addicted addicted to your smile There's so many things I want to know Like how you look in the morning light Don't go, stay with me tonight Let's let tomorrow stay a million miles away Hold on to tonight, baby. Say you'll stay. Cause there's so many things I want to tell you, but the words won't come out right. Don't go. Stay with me tonight Don't go, don't go Stay with me tonight Pretty song right there. And again, thank you, Ryan, for t uh, taking care of business right there. Hey, let me let me go over to tomorrow's uh, lineup. That's not tomorrow's lineup. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, uh, tomorrow uh, tomorrow it will be uh, Keith Robinson will be out here with Beekeepers. Uh, Doc Papa will be out here early in the morning, and, um, and I'm not sure about Thursday. I don't know why I try to be organized. We'll be right back. There's that register win and cash. Uh, there's that QR code. Reminds me of something from out of limits, but get, be, be, get, out, get all that right now while I tell you about what's for lunch today. Chicken pot pie. Now I'm talking about Coons Corner Deli. Chicken pot pie, mashed potatoes, Brussels sprouts, butter beans, butter beans, good to my heart, carrots, green bean casserole, English peas, corn, and apple cobbler. There is you an all-American bill not Bill, Mill at Coons Corner Deli, uh, Hillary Street. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. And obituary is brought to you by our friends at Radney Funeral Home and Langley Funeral Home. Funeral service for Mr. Joel Dean Glover, 61 of Rockford, will be tomorrow. I'm sorry, Friday uh, at 1 o'clock at the Rockford Baptist Church. The family will see friends on Friday from 11 to 12.30 at the Rockford Baptist Church. Burial will be Saturday the 13th at 1 o'clock at Green Hill Cemetery in Killen, Alabama. 
Radney Funeral Home is in charge of that service. To the Glover family and to other families that have lost loved ones, my heart goes out to each and every one of you. To the men and women that are fighting for our freedom, God bless you. God bless the USA, and we'll be right back. Whether it's Lake Martin, Lay Lake, or Logan Martin, boaters from all over the state of Alabama come to Alex City Marine. Just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. Because it's worth the drive. With the best deals on unbeatable Suzuki outboards, Manitou and Landau Tritunes, and a great pre-owned inventory while they last. Alex City Marine is the pros the locals know. And no matter where you're from, when you're here, you're local to us. Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. AlexCityMarine.com. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now, from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20-mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When's the last time you went to see that friend? When's the last time you really needed to go to the doctor, but you didn't have a, a ride? Well, now you got one. It's Arise. Remember this. It's public transportation. Their number to call is 256 329 84 44. Have you been to SureShot Outdoors lately? Owner Scott Watson invites you to come in and take a peek at everything they have to offer. Not only do they carry the products you need, whether you're a beginner or an experienced shooter, their experienced staff offers both knowledge and the service you deserve. They also carry apparel, grills, coolers, and much more. Come on in and browse SureShot Outdoors today, your one-stop shop for all things outdoors. Located on Highway 280 in Alex City. Jeremy Worthy with Worthy Plumbing and Construction is carrying on a great family tradition, proudly serving the Lake Martin area and doing new construction, plumbing repairs, remodels, and a whole lot more. So keep this number handy, 205-936-4705. That's Worthy Plumbing and Construction. Again, the number to call is 205-936-4705. That's Mr. Jeremy Worthy. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street has been a staple here for decades. Taking care of our community families from prom time, wedding days, picking up a friend on a bad day, happy times and sad times. Grace's is involved in our community with more than just beautiful flower arrangements, but also the love they put in them. Keep this number handy, 256-234-4238 for Grace's Flowers in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4238. Tiny Homes by Wind Creek, now renting. Sleeping for full kitchen, private fishing pond, boat charging station, and pet friendly. Call today, 256-935-9337 or tinyhomesbywindcreek.com. Located in beautiful small town, USA, Alexander City, Alabama, on Highway 63 South. Turning into Wind Creek State Park, and there they sit, ready for you to sit on their front porch. Springtime means lawn and land time, and Lake Martin Outdoor and Tractor is ready. With full lines of Mahindra tractors and implements, as well as tough and durable Spartan Zero Turn mowers. Right now, get 0% financing on select Mahindra tractors with approved credit, and see all incentives on Spartan mowers. And best of all, Lake Martin Outdoor and Tractor is trading for top dollar on everything. Cars, trailers, tractors, trucks, RVs, we pay cash on the spot and are ready for your business. Lake Martin Outdoor and Tractor, Highway 280, Alex City. Y'all come on back in here and join us. 
Folks, I, I really, I don't know. I don't have the words. I don't know what's fixing to happen. I don't know these guys. I don't know where they came from. One came rolling up on a motorcycle. I don't know if he's with Hell's Angels. We're going to find out. So we're going to do it a little, di a little different today. We'll start right here, since he's sitting the closest to me. Let him introduce. And if these guys can, we even got a coach out here. About a, a big-time baseball well, T-ball uh, coach out here. So I'm going to uh, start with you, sir. All right. Um, my name is Eric Miller. I'm the clinical and operations supervisor for the uh, ER at Russell Medical Center. So. Coach? I'm Robbie Haney. I'm one of the coaches. No, no. <laughs> uh, I'm a nurse practitioner uh, in the emergency room there at Russell Medical. Uh, Dr. Mike Colthard. I'm the, uh, one, of the, one of the physicians out at uh, Russell Medical ER. I'm also the medical director for the emergency room. Doc, I'm, I'm going to start with you since you rode up on that motorcycle out right here. And they, <laughs> just, yeah, I, I look out there and said, who in the world is this? I've, I've, never, I've never met you. But where, where are you from? Some are you ashamed of where you from? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you, know, you would think that was an easy question. But, uh, there's no easy question when, when, when I'm the person who's actually got to answer it. Um, <laughs> um, actually, my hometown is uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Okay. Um, but um, but when I was young, I was an angry guy and ended up in the military. And the military kind of pushed me around all over the place. Mm -hmm. And in the continental U.S., this part of the country has always been really nice. Um, stationed for a number of years out at Fort Moore. Um, Fort Moore, where is Fort that? Fort Moore, that's, uh, it used to be called Fort Benning uh, oh, out in, there. Um, in Georgia? In Georgia, okay. in Columbus, Georgia. Um, and so this part of the country has always been real special to me. Um, so I was uh, out there working once I got out of the military mm -hmm. and then uh, got an opportunity here uh, to pick up as the medical director. Wow. And so, um, you know, initially I was just like, wow, let me see what that's all about. And, and uh, <laughs> wow, I found out what that was all about. <laughs> <laughs> what, so brand, my, what, what branch were you in? Uh, Army. I was in Army. How long were you in? Uh, 15 years. 15 years. Wow, thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. So I try, I try to keep that piece out, but there it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thanks, Mabry. <laughs> Mabry, I know Mabry is just chomping at the bits to be out here. Uh, but but, but uh, he, I was telling them, uh, them uh, earlier, he, he throws out these five dollar, ten dollar words, and he don't even know what what they mean. So, so Mabry, we, we're glad that you're at, at home. Yeah, that's, that's Mabry Cook. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. We don't mind throwing him under the bus, do we? <laughs> well, he said I should mention his name, so there it is. Oh yeah, he loves he loves, he, lo he loves to mention that. Yeah. I love I love Mabry Cook too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and, thanks, Mabry thanks. Cook, and Mabry Cook loves Mabry Cook. Yeah. <laughs> also, but this is not the Mabry Cook show uh, right now. So how long have you been uh, here? At, um, I think, uh, golly, I don't know. Um, I think it's about four years. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, good. So uh, we're glad you're here. Uh, so your your what you do with Russell Medical is what exactly? I'm the um, the medical director, okay. so I direct the emergency room mm -hmm. and how that works in terms of from the physician standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, um, but I oversee virtually, uh, you know, all of the all the physicians, mm -hmm. the and the nurse practitioners, um, oh, and then obviously um, all of the nursing staff and the rest of those fall under uh, Eric Miller. Okay. Um, okay. And we kind of partner together with regard to that. So you've been here four years, so were you here, so you were here during the start of COVID? No, not the start, just kind of after, after COVID started, probably about a year or so after COVID started. Okay. Wow, it was, it was, it was something. Yeah, it was wild. Yeah, the first was. COVID was uh, pretty dramatic. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it was uh, a heck of an impact to the, to the entire community here and everywhere. Every, every, yeah. But, but the, the thing about with, with you, because I, I, of course, living here, we saw all of it happen. We saw what went on in Russell Medical. We saw what went on with, but everybody, I, I, I think our Russell Medical, which is considered a rural hospital with with technology, high technology, world uh, first class technology right here, uh, but they they were prepared for it. It, it, it amazed me yeah. how yeah, they were. I'm not sure if we were, if anybody was yeah, really prepared, yeah, right. but I will tell you that you know everybody considers Russell Medical Center a uh, small community hospital. Uh, and I will tell you from working in a number of very high acuity emergency rooms, yes, sir. The, the workload that comes into Russell Medical's ER is, is very much similar right. to what you see in a lot of the more tertiary type facilities. And what I mean by that is a lot of the higher acuity ERs. Right. Um, 
like I said, uh, you know, I come primary to here. I mm -hmm. came from Columbus, and they have, uh, you know, a trauma center, uh, two big hospitals out there. Right. And they, they have a lot of physician support during the day, mm -hmm. a lot of nurse practitioners, and the workload that comes in there for an individual provider mm -hmm. is very similar to what comes into Russell Medical yeah. Center. So although this is a small community hospital, we see very complex and a lot of what we call high acuity, which mm -hmm. is people that are in either dying mm -hmm. or have died right, yes. coming in mm -hmm. here. So uh, by any sorts of means, accidents, everything. So even though we were not prepared necessarily, I don't think anybody was prepared for what COVID was. Yes, sir. Because of what our capabilities are and because of our staff, mm -hmm. we were very easily able to adjust and take care of all that. Y'all have to plan for a mock disaster every day, don't you? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it, but y'all don't actually ever go through, un unless the, the, the community is having a, a mock disaster drill, y'all don't, the, the ER or the hospital, y'all don't really go through anything like that, do you? We, we do occasionally, okay. but I will tell you that most every day is like a mock sure, disaster sure. in the emergency room. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, because of the, the acuity and the, the comp complexity of the cases that come into the ER right. every single day, um, you know, we, even though we don't practice every day, as you say, for mm -hmm. a mock disaster, mm -hmm. um, we are able and very easily able to, to yeah. adjust for that with right. the staff that we have. Mm -hmm. Now, the, the difference being if we have a mock, you know, if we have a true disaster, mm -hmm. there is a mechanism, and we do have that in place, where we can call additional assets to come into yeah. the hospital yeah. to adjust and, and allow us to see more people than we would normally on yeah. any given day. So, for instance, and I hate to even bring this up, the tragedy, April 15th <clears throat> tragedy of Dable yeah. last year. Y'all had to bring in extra people for yeah. that? Yeah, so uh, that night um, I got a phone call um, probably about 10 o'clock from the supervisor about all that's going on. Mm -hmm. So, and it honestly, it took me a few minutes for it to register yeah. what was going on. So when I got in my car, I was like, oh, this is real. This is yeah. happening. So yeah. we have things in place just inside the ER mm -hmm. uh, for things like that. We have a mass communication with, in the ER. So that's what I sent out was um, to our ER staff. Uh, whoever, yeah, whoever could, get, whoever was available to come in because of this, mm -hmm. and then um, this is what I, I tell people all the time is like, I've always enjoyed working at Russell, yeah. but that night made me really proud to work at Russell. Yeah, wow. Uh, is because the response from the hospital. Um, as soon as I got there, we got the surgeon in, we got our anesthesiologist and all the other support personnel coming mm -hmm. in. And when I called our anesthesiologist and surgeon, within five to ten minutes, they were there with help wow. that we didn't call. Yeah, and so. Just seeing the flow and seeing the uh, community come together and seeing the hospital come together and that was just, it was incredible. And it was, um, it has to do with like a lot of our training that we do with the mm -hmm. staff for the disasters. That helps out a lot. But it's just like Dr. Coulter was saying, the day-to-day -day acuity, we're used to really sick people and really traumatic situations and injuries like that because of the people that come to Russell and um, just made the flow so much better. I mean, there's a lot of kids that I can honestly say that are alive today because of Russell Medical's wow. effort. So it was it was very impressive how the hospital responded to that. Because so. if I'm not, I mean, y'all took in a lot that oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> just because, it, and, and, and I, from other sources that were involved in it that night, they yeah. were, I heard those saying, mm -hmm. y'all were prepared. Yeah, yeah. But how do you get prepared for, for young folks like that? Did, did, was that? And I hate, to, I hate to get so personal yeah. about this, but was that really tough for everybody there that night? It, it is. It's very tough. But and the thing is, it's not just um, – we're really good at, like, focusing on what we got to get yeah. done. Mm -hmm. And so um, we – Business at hand. Yeah, yeah. And so – and the thing is, and a lot of times um, – when we're treating a patient or anything like that, and it's something the patient doesn't understand, we mm -hmm. explain ourselves and we talk them through the process. Mm -hmm. But our sole focus is right now we got to stop this bleeding. Mm -hmm. like, we're not worried about anything else going around. We, our focus is this one task, mm -hmm. and so putting on to put on that tunnel vision in situations like that really helps out to really just um, get this patient stabilized and honestly be able to move to the next one because that's what you have to do in those situations. Right. You just have to be able to move through. So. Folks, let me tell you something. They, 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 this is why we're so proud. This community, this is why we're so proud to have Russell Medical right here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Uh, Cloud Nine. Let me tell you something. Cloud Nine is downtown Alexander City. Uh, Amanda Sullivan uh, is prepared today for you. Whether it's a, whether like my wife is going by today just for a, a simple candle, just for a simple candle. Now I hope while she's there that Amanda will show her her uh, salesmanship and she'll leave there with something nice to wear. Cloud Nine is downtown on Main Street, Alexander City. At Beyond Home Care, we provide in-home care services to individuals needing assistance with activities in their daily lives. We work with each client to provide personalized home care and sitter services. Whether it's assistance with bathing and personal care or an escort to a doctor's appointment, each client receives the individual care they need with the dignity and respect they deserve. Give us a call today at 256-414-6090 or visit us online at beyondhomecareal.com. The Morris Haynes Law Firm focuses on representing those who have been injured or mistreated by the wrongful acts of others. We have offices in Ellick City and Birmingham, but we have been calling Ellick City home for over 30 years. If you find yourself in need of a lawyer, give us a call at Morris Haynes, 256-329-2000. We would be honored to help you. With the season coming in full swing, get all you need for summer at Lake Martin Mini Mall on Highway 63. Full plant nursery, lawn decorations, built-in outdoor kitchens, all big green egg products, furniture and home decor. Don't miss the next farmers and artesian market with locally sourced products, art and food trucks with local cuisine. This year, get it all at Lake Martin Mini Mall. Music Depot, located next to Depot Gun and Pond on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is stocked and ready for you to visit. Huge inventory of quality name drums, amps by Glaney and Fender, electric and acoustic guitars, pianos, fiddles, every accessory you need for yourself or band. Before you shop out of town, shop Music Depot on Highway 280 in Alexander City. Call 256-234-6767. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dadeville, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word AND. Jesse Henderson, owner of Henderson Glass on Dable Road in Alexander City, says give them a call today for a price, 256-234-5464. They do auto, commercial, residential, showers, shower enclosures, mirrors, tabletops. It's all about glass, so I'm seeing clearly if you are. Again, that number to call is Henderson Glass, Dable Road, 256-234-5464. Hello, this is Scotty Gordon at Cornerstone Insurance. Are you tired of paying too much for your home and auto insurance? If so, give us the opportunity to help you. At Cornerstone, we have three goals for all of our clients. Asset protection, affordable pricing, and superior customer service. Come by and give us a call today to see what we can save you. 153 Alabama Street, 256-409-2299. Well, it's 59 right now. It's going up to 75, a uh, 100% chance of rain. The thunderstorms will start moving in here about 4. They'll go on all night long. Some areas may be really rough, so just be aware of the weather. Tonight, 61, 100% chance of rain. The rain will move out. 
uh, at tomorrow morning, 64 and 37. Tomorrow, Friday, man, it's going to be great on Friday, 71 and 46, 78 and 52 on Saturday. Again, a beautiful day. 82 and 55, get those plants in the ground now. 82 and 58 on Monday, too. So there's your five-day forecast brought to you by Top Gun Pest Control Highway 280 in Alexander City. Come on back in here and join us. Mabry Cook, good morning to you. That's the last time we're going to say that name at all for the rest of the year. Robbie, nurse yeah. practitioner, oh, that yeah. is something that seems like has, has gotten more popular or more men and women are getting going to that field. Why? That's why, right. Why for you? Well, for me, um, it was just wanting to, you know, expand my knowledge base, right. you know, expand my career mm -hmm. so you know I've, I've been with russell medical for about 11 years now i didn't know that yeah and uh as a nurse practitioner no I, i've been a nurse practitioner for the past five all okay. in the emergency room here okay. with uh, eric and dr colthard but um no i started my nursing career back in 2014 mm -hmm. so i yeah. remember that now yeah. i remember so, that now um but <clears throat> you know i was an icu nurse mm -hmm. i worked our step down pre and post cath and um, always had a goal to become a nurse practitioner. Okay, okay. And, um, you know, you can just, you can see patients, you can, um, you can diagnose patients, mm -hmm. treat patients, mm -hmm. just as a physician does. Now, mm -hmm. we are overseen by the physician, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, we have a lot of good physicians that oversee us. So if we have questions about anything, we can run and ask them. But there at Russell, because we are a smaller emergency room, mm -hmm. you know, we're there to sort of offload you know, the patients um, for the attending physician, but because it's a smaller facility, mm -hmm. um, we can see those more complex patients as well. And that's what I like too. So- Does it make um, it more one-on-one -on -one type for you, if, if it were, other than being in a, a bigger uh, hospital or medical center, they get that one-on-one -on -one attention? Certainly, yeah. <clears throat> um, so in our emergency room, there's only two uh, providers. There's okay. a doctor and then there's a nurse practitioner. Mm -hmm. And um, we typically, we share that load, the patient load that comes through. So um, he may pick up two and then I'll pick up the next two. And then, right. yeah, we're, we're one on one. Mm -hmm. um, we're with that patient until their care is over and we've made them better or uh, dispositioned them to wherever they need to be. So. You make it personal. Very personal when, in our when community. You're, when, when you're sick or if you got, it's all about me. I mean, it ain't about right. nobody else. Doc, you got to take care of me right now. Exactly. I mean, you know, so you, I'm sure you, you get that. Oh, yeah. But you, you have a family. You're involved in the community. You, mm -hmm. You've even bought in. You and your wife have even bought into downtown okay. uh, Alexander City. Mm -hmm. So I think all that makes what you do so important. I mean, you're, you're you're here. I mean, you're you're, and people recognize you. That's you right. Been here all those. Years. Yeah, I think most people recognize me by my wife. You know, <laughs> you're, yeah, you're best. I husband. wasn't gonna yeah. say anything. I yeah. wasn't gonna say anything. No, most of the patients that I see in the emergency room or throughout the hospital, um, I know those patients personally. Yeah. So right. it means more to me because I really want to, you know, make their care better right. and um, give them a good experience and so forth. Um, but love what I do so hey let me ask all three of y'all this with graduation next month with so many not just local but you know so many graduating seniors that are wanting to get in to this field what what do you what do you tell them what what's what's the first step you, you tell them it, I mean they, they I mean <clears throat> I think for all three of us and yes, I'm sir. not going to speak for either Robbie or, or Eric but mm -hmm. um, you know we have a desire to help you know um, we like helping people. You got to have uh, a servant's heart. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, I mean, I, I absolutely love. I wouldn't. I can't. Couldn't think of anything else that I would rather do yes, uh, than to be an emergency room physician. Um, and it, and it's kind of that. Uh, I mean, if people get into this for the, from the perspective of I want to help people, mm -hmm. I would be. But what I would say would be the first mm -hmm. step. I mean, and it's usually something that. People, when they're very young, they kind of have that, mm -hmm. you know, that draw, and the, and they and they like that, and it just kind of grows as you as you as you grow. Right. Um, so can I would you, say can, that. Can you teach them that? Um, or is that something? Yes, I mean, because I mean, obviously, because you know, I got top of that. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. But uh, I'm ride a motorcycle with him. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think that uh, you know there is. There's a draw. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, and if you have that draw, then the rest of it's pretty easy. Right. I mean, you, know, yeah. you know, you can go to 
you, you can get taught yes, sir. everything else you need. Um, but I'll tell you, I mean, it's, it, it's a, all three of us, I mean, and again, I'm not going to speak for any of the other two, but it's a lot of work. I mean, yes, it's a ton of work to get where we're at. You got to be dedicated. Um, right. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there, there's, there's that mm -hmm. as well. So, I mean, it's very easy to get taught, but I mean, you have to put in 90% of the work. Right. I mean, there, somebody else can, can help teach you, mm -hmm. but you have to put in that work. Um, but it's, you know, if this is what you want to do, it's, it's exceedingly rewarding. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just mm -hmm. treating people. I mean, and, and you know, we all want to, we all want to get people through. We all want to help people. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and sometimes it's, you know, when they're in the emergency room, you know, what we feel about whether, you know, is this an emergency or less of an emergency okay. or really bad emergency, Priority. doesn't matter. Yes, sir. It really doesn't matter. Yes, sir. Because the person who's there, it's an emergency for them. Exactly right. right? Yeah. They're, they're, they don't come there on their best day. Mm -hmm. It's not like I get up in the morning and it's my birthday and mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the emergency room. They're yeah. not on their best day. Yeah. So, so, so the last thing you go ask anybody, how you doing, Dave? You know, in emergency. You don't, you don't hear that much in emergency. Yeah, we said we weren't going to mention his name, and we won't. But you know, <laughs> he did that to me one day, <laughs> and he got a response that was just not what he was expecting. So no, 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 we don't, we don't ask people. Yeah, you know, yeah. you, know how, you know, how are you doing? I mean, obviously they're here. Mm -hmm. We know they're not doing mm -hmm. well, yeah. and it's just inherent of us to try to figure out what's going on. Yeah. And, and we, you know, all three of. I mean, you know, so that's that's my perspective in right. terms of yeah. what I think people need to. Yeah. Think about if they want to enter this field, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll leave. Yeah, so, y'all agree? I mean, he's got any oh, yeah. to add No, to no, that? no. That's that's he hit that nail on the head. If you mm -hmm. want to help people, and uh, especially if you if you want to go into healthcare in uh, a community like Alexander City, mm -hmm. um, you you want to support the community. Like mm, you, sure. you, you gotta. Like I grew up here, and that's that's the reason why I'm still here. Like mm -hmm. my family's here. Uh, Robbie treated my dad just a couple weeks ago. Really? I was on. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I trust the hospital, and mm -hmm. that's a thing about the um if you're if you're in looking to go into healthcare, you really got to examine like if you really want to help people and um you want to make your community better you so, just said the word trust yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that, that's uh what what when, when we when we go we got to trust you you know y'all are, are, are you have our lives in in, yeah. in your hands I, I think about jim peace you know what what he's gone through mm -hmm. i've seen jim peace for uh, working with physical therapy with those guys over there and gals yeah. you know he's he's where he, he's walking better mm -hmm. uh and it but it, it 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 takes it takes it takes all that from the physical therapy to the emergency mm -hmm. room and everybody in between you know i'm just telling you a, a volunteer with dr edwards over there those those people that come in out there i don't i don't ever ask them how they're how they do it? They, they, they wouldn't be there if they, you know, were feeling good. Yeah. So I, I try to cut up Carol with them, you know, make it light. So when they do, you know, go and see him. So I'm just very, very proud to be or to have this hospital, this rural hospital as we call it, right here in our community. And it makes me more proud when I get to see guys like all three of you out here and what you do. So thank you. I, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Doc? Yep. <laughs> that's, that's all I want to say. That's all I want to say. Thank y'all for coming out Absolutely. here. Thank hey, you. don't go anywhere. We may be back and we may not be back. I don't know. <laughs>
Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and L.D. Benton, and they get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call L.D. or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Grading. Lake Martin Funeral Home and Cremation is coming soon to the corner of 280 and 49 North in Dayton. This new 10,000 square foot facility is conveniently located to serve the residents of the Lake Martin area and its many communities. A branch of Frederick Dean Funeral Home and Crematory in Opelika, Lake Martin Funeral Home and Cremation looks forward to serving your families and your communities, as we have since 1900 at Frederick Dean. 256-750-0381. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. There's only one clear choice in the Lake Martin area for plumbing, heating, and air. That's all clear plumbing and air. Our professionally trained technicians offer full service repair and installation on all major brands. From drips to water heaters, thermostats to entire air conditioning and heating systems and everything in between. Our fast, reliable, and guaranteed top-notch customer service will keep you informed and up to speed through the entire process. Call us today or look for us on Facebook and Instagram at All Clear Plumbing and Air, 256-496-2056. License number 19172. Thunderbolt Light Footed Oscars Cafe on Highway 49 South in Dayville, Alabama is looking to see you today. Now let me tell you, they got great food. They've always had great food all these years. Now they still got that atmosphere. They still got that service. They still cater. Let me stop right there. 15 to 415 they can handle. So give them a call today at Oscars Highway 49 South in Dayton. 256-825-4827. With numerous industrial sites across the area, first-class workforce development initiatives, and a business-friendly climate, Tallapoosa and Coosa counties have just what your company needs to be successful. To find out more, visit LakeMartinEDA.com or call 256-215-4404 to speak to Executive Director Denise Walls. Let us make it work for you. Call 256-215-4404. Let's just stay at the hospital. Well, let's talk about breakfast right now being served at Doc's Cafe uh, at Russell Medical downstairs. They'll be there to 9.30 this morning for lunch. Mm -mm, I'm going to be eating lunch out there. I don't know what I'm going to get, but here it is. Spare ribs, that's, that's, that's Willie's Northside ribs, spaghetti, uh, chicken spaghetti, Pacific Rim vegetables, that's just a medley, black-eyed peas, they get really good, roasted artichokes, baked beans, salad bar, vegetable soup, and let me tell you, salad bar is something else, 
And Special Bar is Cook's Choice. So I don't know exactly what that's going to be today, but I can tell you this. It'll be good. That's Doc's Cafe at the Russell Medical. I'm telling you what, it's just having, we're just having way too much fun this morning. Thank you all for being with us. Coach uh, or Senator Tuberville on the line right now. Coach, Senator, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Coach, it, it, I've got this list of things that, that, that Hannah sent, and I really do appreciate that. But, Dad, Bob, I'm just going to go right to the, the meat of the matter. Um, over, Let's and, do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Over, because we have guys from uh, uh, the uh, from the local ag uh, area uh, that talk about this. Over, and I'm going to turn it over to you after I have to throw this at you. Overturning USDA rule to uh, allow... Uh, is that Paraguayan beef imports? Am I pronouncing that word right? That's right. But, but so exactly what is that? Because that that is a issue for a, a, a lot of folks around here. Uh, well, first of all, can you don't try to step spell that Paraguayan. <laughs> Thank you. That's above mine and <laughs> mine and your head. That's about a twenty. So it's just a continuing effort. You know, what Joe Biden and this administration is doing to our farmers all across the country. Right. You know, they're trying to put them under because they. They're totally all in on this climate uh, reduction and save the climate. Listen, if there's anybody in this country that cares more about the land, conservation, and the environment, it's our farmers. Right. But these people up these people up here think that uh, food grows in the back uh, parking lot of Walmart. Okay. <laughs> they don't understand that we have small farmers across this country, from the beef industry to the catfish to, to foresters to to corn, cotton, all the crops. They don't understand the efforts that they have to put 365 days in a year. Now, I want to tell you this. We have lost, in the last four years, 150,000 small farms across this country. Wow. That can't continue to happen. They've got to be given an opportunity to make a profit. So, let's go back to Paraguay and beef. You know, of course, the Biden administration, uh, you know, they do everything they possibly can do to bring in uh, and import things that would take place of our farmers. Yes, sir. Including Paraguay and beef. And we're blocking that. We're saying, listen, we got to give our beef industry an opportunity to thrive and make money. We don't need to send it all overseas because they don't have the same standards that we, we have. Uh, you know, they give them everything in the world that could be toxic to the American people. So we got that stopped. We did the same thing with catfish. Our catfish farmers in Mississippi and Alabama and Arkansas, where most of the catfish is raised, Kenny. Right. We have a lot of catfish farmers in South Alabama. Uh, they were Joe, uh, Joe Biden was going to drop the tariff uh, uh, dramatically off of catfish coming from Vietnam and other areas in Asia. That would have put our catfish farmers under because we can't compete with that junk that they send over here, the trash. Uh, that's the the catfish that's raised in the sewers and and given all kind of things that are detrimental to the health of the American people. So we got that stopped. So it's an everyday process, you know, of trying to fight this administration on behalf of the American people. I don't mind doing it, but this is just common sense. Uh, you don't go after American-made products, and that's what this uh, Biden administration has done from day one that they've taken office. Uh, you know, I'm all about American made, and, and uh, whether it's American made, American raised, like you're talking about the catfish, cattle, and, and you know, and I, I just really, and I, I sincerely mean this, Coach. I, I really do appreciate your your stand up, your your heart, and you don't mind telling them like it is because they're messing with our people. They're messing with me and you. They're messing with our families. Well. It's all about the deep state up here, Kenny. The, pro the problem started back when Bill Clinton started NAFTA. Right. So, you oh, know, yeah. we, need to, we need to let our partners across the, the continent and across the world uh, be all in on uh, American products. And what happened? We lost our manufacturers. We, don't, we have one plant in this country now that makes, we'll go back a little bit to Ukraine, of uh, these 155 uh, bombs that they make that they're mostly using over in Ukraine. We have one one company that makes those. We make ten thousand a month. Russia makes thirty thousand a week. Wow! And so it, it it yeah. I mean it's just we have got to get manufacturing back to our country. We've we've got to we've got to lower the uh, the uh, standards in terms of 
not standards of the product, but how they can come back in here and make money. Because we have to pay higher prices, which I'm fine with. But that being said, with get American made products, we have to we have to get people off the couch back to work. I agree yeah, with you. Got, this this year the farm bill, if we passed it, uh, would be one point three trillion dollars mm. for people sitting on their butts at home and not going to work. Right. Now, I want to take care of the elderly, the veterans, the people who have uh, health problems, all those people that need help. But those people that are young that need to get out and go to work instead of sitting home and getting a paycheck from the federal government or the state government right. need to get their butt up and go to work, and we need to break that plate because if we don't, we're going to lose the country that you and I had an opportunity to grow up in. You know you, you know that th this area right here that you're talking to was a textile uh uh, community for a hundred years, and we know that's gone. But socks. We, we, socks. Where I bought my socks from. <laughs> but we've had, we've had to do diversify, and and this this area has done that. Uh, but but people like you that continue to fight for our farmers, our catfish farmers, our corn, our soybean, uh, cotton, all that. It, when will when will that change? When when will we get America back to work? You got the you got that answer today. <laughs> well. well. Well, when we get people out of Washington, D.C. that want to just continue with power and stay up here forever and not work for the American people. I come up here to work for people in Alabama and the people across the country. I know you do. If they don't want to vote, if they don't want to vote for me after I make these, these decisions, which they're not hard decisions, I vote for the betterment of this country and the people of this country. And if, if I don't not send back up there, that's fine. Uh, but you got people up here that they're going to make every decision up here, Kenny, based on a vote. Uh, they're going to ride that fence until the end, and they'll fall the way that they feel like, you know, they can get the, the most votes so people will vote for sending them back up here. Right. We need term limits. We need to clean this place out. It stinks of, of people staying up here just because they won't have senator or congressman on their name. Right. And, uh, again, there's some good people, but there's a lot of people up here that, that care less about the American people. They just want power, and that's the reason we got to get them out of here. You know, I, I think about you. You talking about cattle, and, and I want to thank Hannah for, for fixing this up right here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this quote right here with this uh, that she sent, and, and because like I said, we have people out here on the show that, that talk about the good beef, the bad beef, uh, but the cattle are produced in each of Alabama's 67 counties, and beef cattle production ranks second behind broilers in cash receipts among Alabama farm community so we've got to help them grow you agree oh 100 percent you know we uh, as you said our ch chicken industry is huge oh yeah the, you call them broilers I'm, <laughs> I'm an old redneck you know I call them chicken well, yeah uh, <laughs> me too and so uh you know if you look at the entire state of Alabama what we do we're 60 percent rural Kenny right and again huge in forestry uh they're attacking by the way our our paper products across the country now. Joe Biden and them, they want to, they want to be, they, they think our, our forest, foresters are, 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 are harming the climate. Okay. But, you know, we got foresters, we got cattle farmers, we got crop, crop farmers, row, row, uh, farmers, we got peanuts. Uh, we, we're, we're as diversified as they come. Right. But I'm going to tell you, I'm telling you, we're also third in the country in China owning farmland. In Alabama, wow! I want you here to listen to. Them. Yeah, China is buying up everything they can get their hands on, mostly close to. Uh, if you think about us in Alabama, we've got Huntsville with all the defense contractors right. and all the research and development on everything that we do. We've got military bases. We make ships down in Mobile. We make submarines. We make airplanes. Uh, we train all the Army helicopter pilots down in Fort Rucker. Just make tanks in Anniston, and so. Uh, you want to get in harm's way with our number one adversary, you let them start moving uh, small plants into your state and start doing things that they can do to affect the growth uh, of, of any industry that you have. You know, you, you said uh, your, your state, you're talking to me. It's also your state, and you're, you're, you're up there looking out for us. So I'm going to stay with rural right now because we just had uh, folks uh, on right before you called in with Russell Medical, which is known as a rural hospital. So they're, you know, they're trying to survive too, but we're a rural, they, this is a rural hospital that has state-of-the-art 
uh, equipment in there and, and class uh, act and state of the art people that work there. So there's another fight on your hands, the medical end. Oh, oh yeah. We need jobs. We need good paying jobs. Right. We need, we need training. We, you know, in our state, we're working hard on the, uh, uh, technical training across the state. You know, all these kids don't need to go to college. Right. I mean, in, in, in mine in your day, just a small percentage of people went to college. If you're going to be a doctor, lawyer, you know, school teacher, or something like that, you know, the money has been made in our generations, in our lifetime, and people have done well with plumbers, electricians, oh, yeah. carpenters, and those things like that. And we've gotten away from that. We've, our kids have, we're sending kids to colleges that, are, by the way, are getting these loans that Joe Biden wants to uh, give them free loans now, which we can't afford. We're broke. Right. But, uh, you know, we're, they're putting them in harm's way by majoring in sociology or political science. I mean, what the hell? How are you going <laughs> How are you gonna make a living from that? You can't. You can't make a good living. So we've got to get back to working with our hands with these kids across the state of Alabama and across the country. We, we need technical development. Well, it seems like I'm hearing more and more of uh, uh, young men, young uh, ladies that are going, they're, they're find, finding those trades because those trades, there's a big demand for them. And, yes, education will always be a big demand. But if you don't want to go that route, the demand for, for uh, finding a trade is huge, and you can make a, a good living forever and ever. Amen. Yeah. And one thing, Kenny, I want to say, too, it, I'm on the Armed Services Committee, is that, you know, an alternative for kids going to college back when you and I were growing up was the military. Right. And it's a great opp great opportunity. They'll train you in the skill. They'll pay for your, some of your education, uh, health care, uh, plus you're doing a great service of protecting our country. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. But, you know, this administration has DEI'd us to death, diversity, equity, and inclusion. You know, they're dividing our country. They're dividing our military. We are losing in the military so fast. And this is the most dangerous time that you and I have lived in with China, you know, uh, our number one adversary, uh, you know, Russia-Ukraine conflict. And, of course, the Middle East is on fire. Right. And we don't have a military right now, nor the equipment to fight one war, much less three wars at one time. So... Somebody better get control of the wheel right now. You know, our, our, our the automobile that we're in as, a, as Americans is out of control. We got Joe Biden, who is an absolute moron when it comes to uh, being somebody that can make a good decision for all the American people. He's proved that. And right by said, you can't call the president of the United States a moron. Hey, listen, I've seen it for 100, 1,175 days he's been in office. He has not made one decision that's best for the United States of America and the taxpayers. And so that gives me the right to call him what I want to because he <laughs> care less about a free country, a country with a constitution, a constitutional republic. He wants a socialist, globalist country. And by golly, we're not going to allow that to happen. Coach Tubbell, it's always a treat to talk to you. One of these days, if you're ever in our neighborhood, I want you to come out here and sit down with, with, with me, and we'll just, we'll just, if you want to just chew the fat, we'll chew the fat, and we won't even talk politics. How about that? Well, if you find a place where we can get some purple oil peas and some and some fried cornbread and sliced tomatoes, I'll be up there to see you, Kenny. You just, you just found the, the man that can take care of that. Coach, and, uh, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for taking your time to be with us today, and have a great, uh, have a great rest of the week. God bless you. God bless yeah. you, buddy. Take care. <laughs> there he was. We'll be right back. Forbes Auto Sales, I want to say good morning to those guys and gals up there. And thank y'all for what y'all do. Hey, let me tell you something. Y'all on my uh, list of things to get done. I got to get my truck serviced. I got to get the oil uh, changed and just get it serviced and get it ready. Get let you, let you look at my tires. See, they can do all that at Forbes Auto Sales, Highway 280, and that's Skeleton, Alabama. 
OGS Tournaments presents Crank for Bank. Win over $1.6 million in cash and prizes. Over 200 tag bass and 75 tag crappy are waiting to be caught by you in Lake Martin. Register now online at crankforbank.com for only $120. All ages are welcome. Fish from the dock, boat, or the shores of Lake Martin to win over $1.6 million in cash and prizes. It's Crank for Bank. For years, Tom Watley's been a name you can trust to represent you. And now you can depend on Tom Watley Law, LLC, to handle all of your legal needs. Tom has over 20 years of practicing criminal defense, probate needs, and estate planning. Tom Watley Law supports the communities of Lee and Tallapoosa County and can handle all your legal needs or refer you to their network of specialty attorneys. When it counts, call Tom Watley Law, LLC at 334-559-3420 or online at TomWatleyLaw.org. No representation is made, but the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Hillaby Towers is an affordable senior citizens community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East. Spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more information on Alexander City's best kept secret, 256-329-0552. That's Hillaby Towers in Alexander City. Medicare for Veterans, MedicareSalute.com. Medicare for Veterans, helping to maximize your VA, CHAMP VA, and TRICARE benefits. Call 256-675-5315 today. Ask for Amber Walker. Ask about Medicare, life, health, dental, and final expenses. Do that today. Call 256-675-5315. Inspired by the bold bison, Southern Union students blaze new trails every single day. They press forward knowing their SU education will lead them to success. Affordable, accessible, and locally unparalleled. Whether you're transitioning to a university or launching straight into a lucrative career, a degree from SUSEC can help you blaze your path. Three locations, dedicated faculty and staff, endless possibilities. It's all waiting for you at Southern Union. It's time to venture forward. Register today. Fire Truck Barbecue located downtown Alexander City at Five Points. You go find it because you go find good food when you get there. They're open 10:30 to 6:30 Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Serving. Oh my goodness! If you had the catfish, yet. oh you've been eating that barbecue. They still got barbecue added. Hamburgers. Oh my goodness! And the vegetables, the sweet tea, and they cater too at Fire Truck Barbecue downtown Alex City. If you listen carefully, you'll hear the roads of Alabama calling. And Sarah Nissan has your answer. Serving you for over 40 years with one of the largest Nissan inventories in the state and the Sarah Promise. Our best deal when you buy or trade. A 72-hour exchange policy, a no-hassle trade-in promise. Written offers are good for seven days. And our best service promise. Our factory certified technicians help keep your vehicle running smoothly. That's why Alabama can be yours to discover. in a new vehicle from Sarah Nissan. With three locations in Birmingham, Sylacauga, and Coleman. I'm telling you what, uh, it's always a treat to have Senator Tuberville on the uh, the, the show. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I said I was going to try to keep it light, but you know, it's hard to keep it light with that man right there because he is fired up about all of of the good things. I, I honestly believe that. Happy birthday to Linda Oliver. Hope you're doing well this morning, young lady. Dawn Kretschmann, she's always good about calling in birthdays and keeping us updated on things. Happy birthday to you today, Barry Bowling. Happy birthday to you, you rascal. I'm not even going to tell folks how old you are 15 years old. Jimmy Sanford, good morning to you wherever you are. Uh, our guest for tomorrow, uh, and, 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 and again, uh, our Rockford Accordia group, I hope everything's okay with y'all. We had them scheduled today. I'll find out about, about them. Uh, I want to thank the, the guys from Russell Medical. That was uh, uh, Mabry. 
You, you did a great job again. Mabry Cook uh, helps line these up. Russell Medical is on uh, the first, second, third uh, Monday, uh, Wednesdays, I'm sorry, of every month, just introducing people just like these guys out here. And we and he does a great job. And we, we hope we can get all, all 500 folks uh, in out here before it's all over with. We got, we got time. I hope. Uh, tomorrow, we're already giving you that lineup. On, on Friday, let me go ahead and give you Friday's lineup. Kimberly Carter will give us an update on everything that's going on in front of Russell Medical, on the side of Russell Medical, in the back of Russell Medical. Uh, and it's really, really looking good. I was by there yesterday afternoon, uh, and I'm really liking what I see. Robin Brooks and Tabitha Cleveland will uh, give us an update. We've got some pictures that we'll be showing you, too, from the trail ride, the recent trail ride for her son that tragically lost his life last April the 2nd in a helicopter crash. Uh, they got a scholarship fund they're doing for him now, so uh, we'll talk all about that on Friday. Again, that show will be pre-recorded. Rick Monroe was in here yesterday from Nashville. This guy, and uh, Shelly Mullen sent him down from Nashville. This guy has been, I don't know how many countries he's been in too, but he he is in it for the music. Not so much to, to make it big, not so much to make a living out of it, which, you know, you still got to do that, but he's in it for the music. So if you get into it, any job, whatever you're, you're uh, wanting to get into right now, if you get into it for the right thing, you know, the, the, the money and those kind of things will will come. So I uh, just uh, so I thought I'd get all that lined up for you. I'm not, I don't have it right in front of me, but I believe, um, oh, here we go. John McKelvey will be with us on Monday, uh, Commissioner John McKelvey. They got a lot going on. Vicki Tuggle will be with us on Monday from Children's Harbor. They got a lot of uh, con uh, construction going on down there. And Zelenka Boyd will be with us on Monday to talk about an autism awareness walk they have coming up. And I, I, for, for years, I still want to learn more about autism, what it's about, how, how does it affect our, 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 our children or, or even our, our adults. So she'll be on with us on, on Monday. Again, if you'd like to be a, a guest on the front porch, I believe I have, I believe the front porch uh, guest list for the month of April I believe we have two openings, and they're both 6.30, I believe. Maybe it's be one, but it's a 6.30 uh, opening. So if you got something coming up April or even May that you want to promote, get in touch with me. My, my cell phone is 256-749-047. Again, my email, and this is a new email that I'm getting everybody updated on, kennydeanac at gmail.com. Right, Duke? You tell them about it, buddy. That'll be the day. We'll be right back. And I quote from Stephen Yerke, talking about what's Curb Market Lunch. He says that ham club sandwich is delicious. He said their tomato soup is delicious. Their chili is delicious. And what he was going to get yesterday is something new they just added, Connecticut the hog, and they're going to put some pimento cheese on, uh, and he was going to get some chili. So that's coming from somebody that knows food. That's Watch Curb Market, uh, which is located on Dable Road, serving biscuits right now. It's truck season at Glenn Smith Chevrolet in Opelika. Check out the powerful, full-size, and fully loaded Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. Discounted up to $13,000 off. Or the roomy mid-size three-row SUV Chevy Traverse. Discounted up to $6,750 off. And the perfect size Chevy Equinox up to $8,500 off. No payments until the end of summer. Over 350 new and used vehicles on the lot or on the way. Get ready to smile. Hey, we're Kevin and Courtney Hall. I'm a lifelong member of First Baptist Dable. My wife joined me after we got married. Uh, we really enjoy First Baptist uh, because it is a beautiful uh, congregation um, and very community minded. Come join us.
Carlisle Heating and Air says it's tune-up time for your HVAC system. Having your unit tuned up increases energy efficiency and can reduce the wear and tear on your unit. Hmm. Call Carlisle Heating and Air Day at 256-234-0019 for a price. Serving the Lake Martin area, Alexander City, Daveville, Jackson Gap, and Goodwater. Don't get hot. Be cool. Call Carlisle Heating and Air today at 256-234-0019. Don't get hot. Be cool. Summertime is a special time. Time on the water, time away from work, and more time with family and friends. Make sure your heart is ready for the season with an appointment at the UAV Heart and Vascular Clinic at Russell Medical. I'm Dr. Kevin Sublett, and our entire clinic is dedicated to keeping your heart healthy. We're right here in your own community and backed by the knowledge and expertise of UAB Medicine. Make an appointment today by calling 256-234-2644 or visit uabmedicine.org slash heart russell. Zaxby's has been perfecting chicken fingers for 30 years, and now we're going to the sea. Shrimp butterfly and fried to perfection, and a perfect blend of Zax sauce and cocktail sauce called Zax Tail Sauce. The perfect southern fried shrimp meal. Woo, saucy. Zaxby's. Zaxby's has been perfecting chicken fingers for 30 years, and now we're going to the sea. Shrimp butterfly and fried to perfection, and a perfect blend of Zax sauce and cocktail sauce called Zax Tail Sauce. The perfect southern fried shrimp meal. Woo, saucy. Zaxby's. While in Daveville, Alabama, get off the roundabout and stop in Payne's Furniture. Donald Payne says right now the selection of couches with end tables is unbelievable. Comfortable bedding, rustic bedding, area rug selection like he's never had, beautiful dining tables, modern and rustic. Ask for about financing. Or if you want to call him, call him at 256-825-7727. That's Payne's Furniture in downtown Daveville. Looking for the best deal on appliances and the best service to go with it? Go to Presley Appliance and Furniture. And whatever your furniture needs are, they've got you covered there, too. Living room, dining, bedroom, mattresses, and even home access. What about outdoor furniture? If it's time for something new, they can hook you up today. When you buy at Presley Appliance and Furniture, you get better quality, warranties, and full service. For purchase, delivery, install, and service after the sale. Presley's knows you'll be happy long-term. Shop Presley Appliance and Furniture on Cherokee Road in Alex City or online at PresleyAppliance.com. Let me give you a road report, which is really is going over on the Dable side. Work is underway on 49 south of Dable at the new Big Fish Shopping Center. Uh, this is located uh, on uh, 49 south, about a half mile south of County Road 34. They're putting in a turn lane and improving the culverts there. This will run for a couple of weeks. Expect some delays. Keep an eye on the weather today, if you don't mind. Uh, it's moving in this afternoon. And y'all be safe. Have a great day. See you back out here early in the morning.